All right, guys, welcome to another break. This is actually, I think, going to be our first official break as the group has been formed of four guys. Right now, we've got Vaughn, we've got Adam, we've got Dan, and we've got me, Kyle. Um, so I think that I think that there have some, been some breaks that have already been completed, and I don't know. We're just kind of trying to figure it out right now still. Uh, so this is $190 worth of product. We've got our pro debut right here, $99 price tag, which I thought was interesting because there was a jumbo for $279, which had three guaranteed autographs and this one has two guaranteed autos and two additional hits and more cards than the jumbo so i'm not familiar with this product uh adam gave a pretty pretty good review of it so i figured i'd pick it up and try it out we also have our two uh jumbo top series one which I like a whole lot better than Top Series 2, but I picked up two Jumbos of Top Series 2 as well. So, um, let's do this one first. Cody Bellinger right on the back, you can see. It's pretty cool. All right, so we're just basically looking for, obviously I'll, I'll go through these and separate everybody's PCs as they would want them. Um, most of us want our paper base for art projects and stuff like that with our kids, but if you don't want it, then that's totally understandable as well. But we're not looking for really anything on these paper base except for the Robert. And it doesn't look like he's showing up quite yet. Right, so now we've got some inserts, tops now. We can just throw that away. Got a foil of Mariners, which I think that uh, Dan wanted the Mariners, so he's going to end up getting that card. Decades Best, um, Andrew McCutcheon, and then Cody Bellinger. That guy is going to be mine. I kind of like that 2030 set. I actually built it from the eight boxes of jumbo that I got from series two and didn't really turn up anything good. So I got those inserts set aside. I'll sleeve those up. If I find anything interesting for you guys, then I'll sleeve them up. I do have my sleeves. I've got some um, top loaders here and then one mag touch just in case. Ha ha. All right, uh, let's do series one next. So series one does it a little bit different where the interesting stuff is in the middle. So flip it around. No big rookies yet, although Bubba Starling, I think, could be pretty cool. Sorry if I'm not calling out your teams and what have you, but I'll have to go through this afterwards and figure out what the best methodology for organization and making sure everybody gets the cards that they want. father like son I was just thinking about this card earlier I'm like what did both of their dads say about when they got drafted and went to Toronto I'm like oh well I guess there goes 50% of your paycheck no offense Adam all right so the foil oh sweet 
Willie Mays, SP. I don't know if that's an SP or an SSP. I don't think anybody has the Giants, so that's going to remain in my collection. And we've got a rainbow foil of uh, Leroy Garcia for the White Sox. So the code on the back for this guy is going to be 8.5. I'm not certain if 8.5 is an SP or an SSP, but... All right, so now we've got our inserts, Randy Johnson, Max Kepler, and Austin Riley. I think that's a base, pretty sure that's a base, but let's sleeve that guy up. Can't say I'm a fan of the Giants in any way, but Willie Mays is pretty awesome. Pretty cool looking card. All right. Um, I hope that the angles have been working out all right for you guys. I haven't looked into my camera screen, but I think that this is pretty much center, so I'll try to stay right there as long as I can. P. Alonzo on the back. Looks like we might have some color in this pack. CT. I don't think I have that one. Yeah, the opening series two is really interesting this year because um, like the rookies, nobody's really excited about them except for Robert. And there's some like updated team changes and stuff like that. Mookie Betts having a Dodger card is obviously pretty cool, but it's not really an exciting rip. Unless you're a White Sox fan, maybe? Oh, there's another backwards card. Frank Robinson. Holy cow. Who's got the Reds? Anybody? No. Dang. I got two legend SPs out of this. And then Jason Hayward, Rainbow, or Gold, gold Foil. Ernie Banks, Kyle Lewis, and then Pete Alonzo. So funny because I have only gotten in my life maybe three or four of the Legend SPs. Two of them are Frank Thomas. One of them was a Cal Ripken, which was an SSP. And I didn't know that, and I traded it away for like $3 worth of cards. Because I thought that it was just the regular SP, and I was pretty bummed about it. But I guess we always have to do our homework. So let's see, the Frank Robinson is a 1-5 out of Series 2. This one's Series 1, so I don't know. Let me sleeve this guy up. Frank Robinson. Pretty cool. All right. Now there's one more... Series 1 Fat Pack. Hopefully we get a hit out of here. I like buying Fat Packs even though they're super expensive. It's nice to have a 30% chance of a hit. It doesn't look like we got a relic. We have Tony Gonsolin on the front. Jock Peterson on the back. So it might be a good Dodger Pack. Here we go. Jason Kipnis. Might be a good Indians pack. Bo Bichette. Sonny Gray. Tatis. At least we're hitting some names in this one. Oh, Indians team card. You know, that's a good one. Well, let me scoot this interesting stuff to the back. Pretty sure it ends there. All right, Andrew Haney.
Another clev right there. That was the back card, so now we're gonna come around to the interesting stuff. Gold rookie foil of Vogue Spock. Okay. That'll go to Blue Jays. We got insert, insert. Double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's a base. And indeed it is. Alright, so that was pretty much four four fat packs. It was alright. We got two veteran SPs, which is cool. Sorry, I gotta get it. All right, I'm gonna scoot this stuff off to the side. All right, so now onto the real deal. Told you that I would get better cutting stuff, and I did. So, like I said before, I was kind of intrigued by this box because it was $99 as opposed to the Jumbo being $279. Topps Pro Debut, I don't really know as being a big reseller. And I don't even know what kind of Dodgers I can get out of here. So I just kind of did this on a whim. Thought it was pretty cool that one of our guys is a pop, Topps Pro debut collector, or at least interested in them. So maybe I'll do this. I can't cover up my guys. So here's the box. Okay. Just gonna throw it away. All right, here we go. I guess I'll probably recognize some of these names from the Bowman packs that we've opened. Evan White. Okay, some color. Oh. Well, isn't that just a buster? All right, so Josh Wolf, numbered to 25. It's not a bad number. Never heard of him. He's a Met. We do have Met. Yeah. Or do we? No, I think I might have been talking to some guy who was a Met. So I guess that'll be mine, question mark. And here it is, sleeved up. And then the number on the back. I think you can see that. All right, it's kind of cool. Love pulling an auto on the first pack. Oh, Mackenzie Gore, that's a guy that I've seen. I have his first auto, I have his, uh, or his first Bowman, I've got his first Bowman refractor, 
and I think that he's been in every bum and set since like 2015. He's on the back. Dalton Barsho, Wander Franco. Mackenzie Gore. Maybe I'm I'm mixing him up. He looks really young. Yeah, I don't think that's the same dude. But in any case, the card stock on these cards is pretty cool, though. It's different from like it's matte on the background and then shiny on the foreground and on the nameplate. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so Wander Franco maybe get sleeved up. The stone crabs. Just in case you're on Sports Jeopardy in 10 years. All right, here we go. Spencer Howard, Joshua Mears, Dylan Carlson, that's a pretty good one. Nick Madrigal, which I'm pretty sure he's already made the bigs, but I'm not sure. Leave up this Dylan Carlson. Kristen Pache. Let's leave that one up. Dodgers Diego Cartaya. Tyler Freeman, Davey Garcia, you know that he's a big draw. Okay. And Andrew Vaughn right here on the back. says in here that there's two autos and two bonus hits. So we'll see. Forrest Whitley. Hunter Bishop. Andy Pages. Put that one off to the side. Sorry if I'm not centering this up, guys. I'm just kind of rolling with what I've seen works from my angles. Looks like it should be all right. Hunter Green. Zach Rex. This is a Copa, I don't know. Cielo Azul to Oklahoma City. Oh, okay. Blue sky is just some alternate uniform that they had. Blaze Alexander, Ronaldo, Hernandez, and Sammy Sinai. Yeah, I, I mean, these are these are kind of a cool rip. Like, Bowman frustrates me because I typically don't know who these guys are. I'm not reading Baseball America every day. Um... But I guess for 99 bucks, this is fun. Jacob Amaya, Josh Young, Alex Kirilov. Oh, Tim Tebow. Hell yeah, bro. Love Tim Tebow. Just kidding. Josh Wolf, 
Oh man, I hope he does big things. Let's see what the back of his card says. Opponents don't didn't play a run earned or otherwise in four bulls, five outings in the 2019 Gulf Coast League. 18 years old, uses a mid 90s fastball and a downer curve to close the season with six straight scoreless innings, fanning eight over that span. So eight strikeouts. All right. But is he a relief pitcher? Because who cares? All right, Drew Waters, Waiters, Jeter Downs. You know, he was a very big prospect in the Dodgers organization. Joey Bart, before they traded him away. Now I think he's sitting in Boston? Not exactly sure. Tim Tebow, just in case you guys were wondering, is still getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Look at that. Look at the size of that guy. Baseball player? I don't think so. Alright. On to the next pack. Bo Phillip. Daniel Lynch. Kendall Williams. That guy, that guy. Cody Hosey. Damon Jones and Zach Thompson. Next pack. Everinson Pereira, Yankee. Jackson Rutledge. Not that he showed up in the bigs, too. Next pack. Oh, there's a big old patch in this one. Miguel Vargas on the back. Big old patch. Congratulations, Bryce Tarong. Wisconsin Timber, Timber Rattlers. All right. Fragments on the farm. 25th season flag. You have to guys, you guys have to tell me where Bryce Tarong comes from. But. I didn't pull any fat sleeves. Go Vargas is a Dodger. Adley Rushman on the back. Is that Brujan? Vidal Brujan? Rays, Ronnie Mauricio, pretty sure he's Rays as well. Yeah, this is going to be tough breaking up um, breaking this one up, breaking up this set. So Adley Rushman, we all know as a Oriole. I think that one should get sleeved up. Brett Beatty. All right, still looking for another auto, I think. Taylor Trammell. Jared Triolo. Bobby Dahlbeck, Matt Manning, Evan White, Ryan Mountcastle. Hey, I almost knew everybody in that pack. Maybe I should read Baseball America more often.
Jeremy Pena. That guy. That guy. A Wander Franco numbered to 150. That's pretty sick. See, here I was thinking that this didn't have any color in it, but it looks like that one needs to get sleeved up right away. Pretty sure somebody has the Rays. Maybe Adam? Jason Rays? Seem to remember that. That's pretty fucking cool. Alright, that one's off to the side. to the next pack. Congratulations, Adam. This is a pretty cool card. Oh, another hit. Congratulations in Spanish. You know I love that. What do we got here? Foster Griffin. I have no fucking idea. Game use memorabilia, 6718, numbered out of 814. Love it when the patch comes out of the case like that. Foster Griffin. I feel like I've heard that name, but not 100%. It's going off into the little hit pile. Cool. Still looking for an auto, I think. Josiah Gray, my guy. Dun, dun, dun. Otherwise, not a Tostada. Day, Jaron Duran, that guy, that guy. This, this card feels different. Yeah, definitely is different. It looks different, it feels different. Some sort of a short print. Caleb Nielsen. Move that guy up. It's got the shiny finish on the whole card as opposed to just the foreground. Background's all shiny. Caleb Nielsen. So let's see what it tells us who he belongs to. Giants. No, fan of the Giants. Doesn't say who he belongs to. Put in a little hit pile and move on. Okay. Jaron Encarnacion. Encarnacion. All right. Love Nacho Libre. Next pack. Not uh, Victor Mesa. Victor Victor Mesa. George Valera. Kiebert Ruiz. 
Luis Garcia. This one also looks like a refractor, but I don't think it is. 81. 81. Yeah. Sixto Sanchez. Pretty cool. All right, guys, I think that we're still looking for that last auto. I actually really do like the look of these cards. I think Madrigal. Nick Lodolo. Five more packs. I think this is it. Alex Kirilov. Joe Adele. Nope. I guess a Joe Adele auto would be pretty good for me. But don't really know what's awesome out of here. Nate Pearson, Michael Bush, Gus Farland. Jose Gomez. Oh, here we go. Gus Varland. So this guy. I don't know. He's ugly. Gus Varland. Stockton Quartz. Gus Varland, not numbered, not nothing. Just regular old Gus Varland. He tries really hard though, look at that. Right. I'm gonna go up there. We can finish the rest of our rip. Oh, here's Apostle. Anybody are the Rangers? Remember me. Alright, here we go. Bryce and Scott. Ruben. Cardinetis. Casey Mize. Hey, how about that? Casey Mize. Oh, another backwards card. Numbered. Trevor Theranash. Ooh. Guys, that's five hits in one box. Two numbered autos. Or, yeah, two numbered autos. One regular auto. That's pretty cool. Who's this for? I don't know. This is tough. I think I would vote against having pro debut in the next draft just because it's hard to figure out who's going where. There's a Volpe. It looks miscut. Here's a gold. 
Gold is at a 50. That's Trey Jameson. And then here's this weird looking card. That's This is the card that this guy gets to wear and everybody else gets a normal card. That's interesting. Sleeve this guy up. It's cool. Well, number seven. Just watched Coco with my kids and I've got the soundtrack just blasting through my brain. Alright, last pack. Of course, it's an awkward opener. Probably my fault. Tristan McKenzie on the back. Alright, here we go. All back. Jake Sanford. Tristan McKenzie. That's the dude that I was talking about before. Not McKenzie Gore. It's Tristan McKenzie. I've been getting his Bowman since like 2015, and he did not play in 2019. That's what it says right there. Makes sense. All right, so that's the break. Let's go over some of the hits. Let's see here. I got this gold of Dre Jameson. Got this of Caleb Nielsen. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's definitely a short print. Got this Foster Griffin. Game used memorabilia numbered to 814. This, which I think has got to be the hit of the box, Wander Franco, numbered to 150. It's pretty sick. Uh, what else have we got? Got this Trevor LaRanche auto. Number to 150. Pretty cool. Gus Varland. Non numbered. He tries really hard though. Dylan Carlson, Wander Franco. Okay, so we could just do like this with this. That's a pretty cool matchup. And then Josh Wolf. Numbered to 25. Could be a pretty cool card. But who knows? His signature has got to be the worst in the entire industry. So. Alright, and then other than that, we got um, some Legend SPs. And let's see. Uh, yeah, just some foils and golds and stuff, but you saw everything that came through, so I will package it and ship it when necessary. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.